hi everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to showcase how you can ingest syslog from linux servers to microsoft sentinel and these servers can be anywhere it can be either in your on-prem environment or let's say in aws or gcp or any other cloud that you are using okay so the process is similar to what we have discussed in our windows video as well that the very first step is to make sure that you onboard the connector and then you have to go ahead and create the data collection rule now before you go ahead and watch this video it's very important for you to understand how exactly ama works what is the purpose of data collection rule and why you need azure arc again there are three different playlists itself uh, for this content which i will be mentioning in the description if at all you have any confusion or if at all there is anything which is not relatable in this particular video you can go ahead and watch those playlists as well okay so to begin with step number one is to make sure that you onboard the machine to azure with the help of azure arc so assume this is my machine which is in my on-prem environment and from here i want to collect syslog data that should be available in my sentinel console so the very first thing that I will do is I will onboard the machine with the help of Azure Arc and then I'll go ahead and verify whether the R syslog service is running on this machine or not. Now step number two is to go ahead and create data collection rule. Now while creating data collection rule itself, I will associate the machine with my data collection rule. Now what this will result in is the installation of Azure Monitor Agent on my machine and then that particular agent will also be listed in the extension section on azure portal now while creating data collection rule itself there is an option to choose data source where we will select the option of syslog and all the different facilities and their log levels and once we are done with the creation of data collection rule since the machine is already onboarded to azure ama agent will get installed on this particular machine and all the data that is there on, on this particular machine will be ingested to the syslog table of the workspace. This is the end-to-end -end experience. Okay. So for this particular demo, I have already onboarded a machine and the host name is localhost. So let's say if I show you the host name, it is localhost. And this is my machine, which is RHEL 9.2. Okay, that's the OS version of this particular machine. Now, as of now, you can see there is no extension installed on this particular machine as well as let's say if I go to my Sentinel console and I will open the instance which we have set up for this particular playlist and I will click on logs and then I'll go and check for any data that's coming in syslog table. OK, so for that, I'm going to type syslog. And I'm going to click on run. Let's see if we get anything over here. Practically, we will not get anything because there is no data ingestion that has been initiated. It is that simple. OK, so now let's go back to our first step of onboarding the connector itself. Now, if you remember in the deck, I have shown you that there is a connector which is required, which is the syslog connector itself. And obviously that will not be listed over here because we have not installed it. OK. So now I'm going to click on this option of content hub and then I'm going to search for the connector by typing syslog via AMA. So this is my connector that I have to install first and then go ahead with the enablement of data collection rule. Now, as you can see that practically you can ingest logs from AMA as well as the legacy agent log analytics agent. But for all obvious reasons, we're not going to use this one. So as of now, I'm just going to click on install now there is also very important aspect that i have covered in my windows video as well and that was moreover related to data collection rule that when you create a data collection rule for windows as an environment the data ingestion happens in security event table but when you go ahead and choose the default console let's say which is this one data collection rule Let's say if I go here and create a Windows DCR from this particular console, then the event ingestion will happen to event table of the workspace. OK, but practically speaking, that's not the case with Linux, because in Linux, it's one single dedicated table. And if you create DCR either from here or let's say from this particular console, the experience will be same. 
but for all obvious reasons we are going to follow the process we are going to choose this particular console itself to go ahead and create the data collection rule so as of now we have just completed our first step and that is the onboarding of data connector so that we can create a data collection rule now as you can see the moment i have opened data connector i'm getting two more option the very first one is syslog this falls back to legacy agent we're not going to choose this one we are going to select this one which is syslog via ama now i hope it is relatable to you that why am i saying that you have to type syslog via ama now i'm going to click on this option which is open connector page and in this particular console as you can see it is asking me to create a data collection rule that should go ahead and capture syslog data okay now this is just my personal recommendation based on the experience which i had with sentinel i would request you to create all your dcrs from this particular console itself rather than going to microsoft sentinel because there is no difference in the mapping likewise it was the case with your windows platform okay so let's say if i go back here and click on microsoft sentinel and i open this instance and if I again go back to my connectors, uh, which is uh, this one, Content Hub, and then I'll go back to Syslog via AMA. This is working slightly slow. Let me just quickly switch to my default browser, okay? So yeah. So practically speaking, there is no difference when it comes to Linux, either if you create your data collection rule from here or let's say you go to default console as of now i'm just showing you the configuration of the connector itself but for all obvious reasons based on my experience when it comes to linux as a platform i choose this console itself because it gives you more options to customize as well as when it comes to api integrations and everything having a native resource is better that's what i have observed for linux as a platform okay so now i'm going to click on create and I'm going to type Linux, let's say Sentinel, and then I will say demo. Okay. And now here I'm going to choose my resource group. Let's keep it Arc Linux servers, or to be very precise, let me keep it in the same resource group where every implementation of Sentinel is kept. Okay. And then I will choose my location, which is Central India. I will choose platform as Linux. And now we know that for Windows and Linux, data collection endpoint is not required. If you click on this information icon, you'll come to know. Okay. Now I'm going to click on next and I'm going to select the resource. Now resource will be again the server that I have already onboarded with the help of Azure Arc. Okay. Let me also open this in a different tab to quickly show you the extension section. Now, even though I have covered all this in a lot more detail in the dedicated videos for Azure Arc and AMA, but still, just to keep it as a reference point, let me just open this section here. And you can see nothing is getting listed over here. The expected outcome is the moment we create this DCR, the AMA extension will be installed on this particular machine. So I'll click on apply. Perfect. We are creating a DCR. Machine has been scoped. Next. Now here we have to select the information that we have to capture. So here I'm going to select Linux syslog and I'm just going to select all the facilities which are available over here. Okay. And now in the destination, I'm going to choose my Sentinel workspace, which will be co-Sentinel, this one. Okay. That's it. I'm going to click on add a data source. I'm not applying any tag review and create and once the validation is passed i will click on create now the expected behavior is once this data collection rule is created it will trigger the installation of ama on my machine let's say if i refresh this you can see uh, the ama extension has already been triggered now once the ama agent is installed on my machine which is this one i'll close the browser here just to avoid confusion leave page which is this this particular machine then all the data ingestion will start happening to my sentinel console itself okay 
So the expected behavior is that if we'll wait for some time and go back to Sentinel console, which is this one. And if I click here and go back to syslog, in a couple of minutes, we will start seeing data coming to syslog table. That's the expected outcome. So I'll just wait for a couple of minutes. Don't worry about these errors. These are generic errors. You will see data here itself in this particular workspace. So I'll just wait for a couple of minutes and we'll resume the moment I'll see the data, okay? Perfect, so it took around two minutes for the extension to get deployed and now you can see I'm getting this status of succeeded as well as syslog table is created out of the box and we don't have to do anything. If I'll scroll down, I can quickly show you this table as well. Okay, it's still not getting listed over here. At times, it just takes a couple of minutes more. But now you can see we are not getting table warning, right? So these are all very small aspects that you should know uh, when it comes to data ingestion itself. So again, we'll wait for a couple of minutes and hopefully we'll start seeing data in this particular table. Okay, so as of now, what we have done is machine was already onboarded which was this particular machine we created a dcr in which we have selected all the configuration for all the facilities you can see over here every facility and the log level is debug okay and the expected outcome is this data should get ingested to which table which is microsoft hyphen syslog okay so if i talk about windows uh, in windows it was coming as event if you create it by default console if you create it from connector it doesn't matter for linux it will always be microsoft hyphen syslog until and unless you go ahead and change this configuration with the help of api which i will be showing you in the upcoming future okay so let's click on run once again okay so i'll wait for two three minutes and we'll resume again Perfect, so it took another 5-10 minutes uh, for data ingestion to be reflecting here and you can see now, I can see all my syslog events coming into the syslog table of the same workspace on which we have set up Microsoft Sentinel. Okay, so to summarize, step number one, make sure your machine is onboarded as Azure Arc, make sure you create data collection rule that will trigger the installation of AMA agent. Just wait for some time and once the AMA agent is installed, it shows succeeded, then wait for some more time and you will see your data coming here. Now, everything that I have explained is working seamlessly because all the prereq has been met when it comes to network configuration related to AMA and workspaces. And all these things I have covered in a lot more detail in my AMA playlist itself, okay? So this was all about knowing how to ingest logs from your on-prem Linux machine to Microsoft Sentinel. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can ingest logs from your network devices, let's say router or switches, and how exactly the CEF data ingestion works. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.